I want to talk about color grading today because um, someone is asking if I can show my process, especially when it comes to color grading Rec. 709 footage or non-log footage. Today we have a couple of examples uh, and I'm going to show that to you guys. But before we go there, I just want to simplify things a little bit. When you talk about color grading, you only think about two things. You can only think about two things because there is the brightness part of color grading and there is also the color part of color grading. The brightness part, also known as the tone part, the tonal part of the color grading. And then uh, the color, of course, you think about maybe saturation, you think about color balance or color uh, accuracy. And then you go to all the, um, you know, style and that, that's the grading part right there. But of course, you have to start with the brightness and look at this example right here guys this is a Rec 709 example I'm gonna pull out the Luma uh, waveform so that we can see the brightness um, that's the IRE on the left side right here and we can see the brightness level from the bottom you can see the shadow or the darkest area and moving up you will see the mid-tone or the brighter tone and then you will see the uh, highlights or the these are the brightest tone that's why I said earlier there are two parts the brightness and the color part and right now we're talking about the brightness part the luma part of the process so let's try to add contrast to this video right here um, we're gonna use the curve adjustment layer so add that what we're gonna do first is create some points in the lower tone or the, the darkest tone and then maybe the mid tone and then the highlights or the kind of brighter tone of this footage right here so to create a contrast a tonal contrast you can just pull down this um, the dark darker points right here and then maybe pull up the highlights uh, you can also try to pull up the mid-tone and um, you can see there was a difference right now the darkest tone became darker and the brighter tone uh, became a little bit brighter and that's the contrast that we're looking at the tonal contrast made simple is just the difference of brightness in your footage or your picture you do the same thing when you edit a picture or color graded picture and so that's what we have right here we see the difference here before and after and now we can move on to the color part of the process uh, where we can maybe think about white balance or color accuracy you want the colors to look like uh, what it was when you were shooting this shot right here so I'm gonna put a link right here there are a couple of ways to do a white balance and a longer video about that uh, tutorial but for now let's just choose a point or an area that's supposed to be white or that uh, that looks like white or that is supposed to be white what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate that area maybe create a mask let's make sure that is white uh, so let's look at these waveforms right here and let's just balance it blue red green at the same level will balance it so let's take a color wheels adjustment right here and um, move around the slider on the temperature and tint until those lines on the waveforms are align the red the blue the green become white and that's white balance now let's look at the saturation we can add some saturation here and to do that we're going to use the hue saturation curves and, and pick a point and let's just play around with it Use the color picker to pick a color and then play around with it. Uh, just be careful with the color that matches your skin tone because that will mess up your skin color, uh, the skin tone. In this case, we pick the blue color and we can mess around with the saturation and the density or the brightness of that color. The last thing that we wanna do is maybe create that look. Today we're gonna isolate uh, the skin. Uh, we're gonna isolate the mid-tone. I think that's that's in the same range. And um, we're going to do that by creating a color mask with the color wheels adjustment. And then um, let's uh, isolate it, move this around, move this bar around. I recommend clicking on this view mask right here so that you can refine your mask. Press and hold shift and you will see this plus button on your cursor. And then that way you can add to your selection. Uh, click on the color you want to add and then refine. Refine your selection with the slider. Remember, the white part is what's selected. So work on it until you're satisfied. And then um, what we can do is we can uh, introduce teal in the other area. Click on the outside because we only want to affect the outside of the mask. And then go to general and drag to blue or maybe to teal. 
if you want to introduce Teal in the other area of the video. So now you have that James Bond look. Or, or maybe let's try to use the, the curves adjustment for this one. So add a curves adjustment and uh, let's go to the blue channel, add some point in the mid-tone, uh, highlights and the uh, shadows. Let's lift the blues in the shadows. That uh, will introduce some blues, of course, in the shadows. And then let's go to the red channel. Let's add some of the same points that we added in the blue channel and um, take away some of the reds in the shadow to introduce teal. We're gonna add the same points with the green and then play around with it to kind of refine that teal look. Here is the before and after. Actually, let's compare it to the other look and let me know in the comment section which one do you guys like better. Anyway, that's the simplified version, guys, and maybe I should do a longer video on this one. Uh, but if you got any value from this one, subscribe and press the like button. I mean, check out these other videos for Final Cut Pro users, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.